Hi, I'm Dave Baring, Technical Director here at TriStar, and welcome to Tech Talk. You know, we, we get asked a lot of questions about bearings because that's a big part of our business here at TriStar. And so I thought, well, let's talk about bearings in general. Why do bearings fail? Uh, if you're familiar with rolling element bearings, uh, you'll know that there's a lot of different versions. There's ball bearings, you know, single row ball bearings, double row ball bearings, angular contacts, spherical rollers, uh, needle rollers, there's all types of, of geometries that are used in, in rolling element uh, bearings. And rolling element bearings are great in the right applications. And sometimes they're overkill. And that's really where our business comes into play because our plain bearing answers to some of these applications are where either rolling elements are overkill or maybe rolling element bearings are being misapplied. I'll give you a good example. Um, we often see applications where ball bearings or, or needle bearings are being applied in oscillating applications. Just slow oscillating motion, high loads, um, that's really not conducive to a, a, an application for a, a rolling element because you've got a limited amount of movement of the grease, you've got all of your load being basically borne by the same uh, ball elements all the time, the, the, the cages, the races, everything is all in the same place all the time. And so it's really not the most efficient application of a rolling element bearing. That's really where plane bearings come into play, is applications where you've got oscillation, high loads, low loads, high speeds, low speeds. Um, and then in applications where you may have high loads and low speeds, where again, rolling elements may not be applicable um, just because of the distribution of the grease. Uh, but really, the bottom line is, do you really need a rolling element bearing um, and the maintenance that comes along with that if a plane bearing will solve the problem? So what we look for uh, when customers come to us with these questions is, you know, what's the load? That's number one. We need to understand what the load of the application is. And we know that sometimes that's difficult because you may have a, a load design, but then you don't know what else is going on with the actual application. There might be some cantilevered going on. There could be some impact going on. Impact is another big problem with rolling elements because if you have a continuous impacting application, um, you could peen those balls and, and races and all of a sudden you've got this, this little gimp in the giddy up. So um, you know, again, that's a place where plain bearings are very applicable and because of the variety of materials that we have to choose from, um, you know, we can avoid impact problems, we can avoid that peening potential, uh, and still maintain the loads and speeds that you may require. Now I'll tell you right up front that if you have a high, a high speed bearing, say a three inch shaft that's running at 3600 RPM, we're probably not going to be able to help you. But if you've got an application that's, uh, you know, maybe 500 pounds at 50 RPM or 1000 pounds at 10 RPM or something like that, where You've got one extreme, but not so much on the other, or, or vice versa. You may have a high speed with a low load. More than likely, out of the literally hundreds of materials that we can apply to self-lubricating plane bearings, likely going to be able to find an answer for you. So if you're looking at your bearing problems, um, you might want to consider contacting us and talking to us about it because there may be a simple, cost-effective, self-lubricating, zero maintenance or very low maintenance uh, uh, solution to your problem. Um, if you go to our website again and look at our uh, resources, lots of shooting stars are talking about bearing applications using polymers and composites. Um, and, and of course, visit the blog site and see what some of the conversations have been on bearing applications. I'm sure it'll be of interest to you and uh, we certainly look forward to working with you if you have some bearing problems right now in your piece of equipment. Thanks for watching, we appreciate it and we'll see you on the next Tech Talk.